All right, guys, welcome back. Season two, getting underway right now. Opening up at home, 3rd of April at 110, taking on the Oakland A's. So let's go ahead and talk about some things. I'm going to make it just like last season, whereas I'm just doing an opening day series in this video, and then I'll do the road trip for the next video at Houston and Oakland. I'm just going to do these three games for this episode. So we have a few, th few things to take care of. We have some scouting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and assign my scouts to some people here. So give me a second. I'll be right back. I'll show you who I'm going to go scout real quick. So we're assigning, or scouting Hensley, Barry, uh, Irizarry, and Connolly. Uh, starting pitcher, starting pitcher, shortstop, and right fielder. So other than that, you guys, the transactions. Um, there are a bunch of people on waivers. There's no one really I want to sign at the moment. Um, Blaine Boyer, possibly. He has some great stats last season. Um, older guy, though, 35 years old. Georgia boy. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and switch Walker and Walker there. Collins in the fifth spot, Paxton in the fourth spot. Let's talk about some things real quick. So this season, you know, last season we, 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 we brought in some younger guys. We got rid of a 34-year-old pitcher for a 25-year-old pitcher. Our entire staff is all pretty young. Uh, Carnes, he's only 29. So we only have one guy that's 30 or above in our starting rotation, and that's King Felix, and that is just fine. Um, in the bullpen, we don't really have any age. Uh, Jansen's in AAA. He's 35. Other than that, we have a couple 30-year-olds, so we're still pretty young there. Closer, we're young. We have Chapman. Edwin Diaz might be a trade piece here. Um, 23 years old. Good ratings, just his stats. Do not back that up in 16 innings pitched in his big league career. Uh, we definitely want to get some more production here from the catcher position. Uh really i mean i i can't say that enough we just need some numbers here from our catchers i don't know what i'm doing vogelbach won won out the position battle in spring training over juan francisco so we're going to make him our opening day starting first baseman francisco's down in triple a might be called back up depending on how vogelbach does robinson cano looking to have a better year i'm going to go ahead and leave fernandez on our big league uh lineup or in it on the bench. Kyle Seeger looking to have another monster year. His batting average slipped towards the end of last year, so we're hopefully looking to get that back up. But as you see, career high in home runs by 10. So looking to have another monster year from him. Cattell Marte, pretty solid year. Um, looking to get his on base and slugging back up, but his average and hits and I mean RBIs, all that stuff was pretty solid. Played good shortstop on defense as well. Still young, all young. I mean, Seager's 29. That's still pretty young, sort of. Uh, Aoki, 35. There's some age there, but he's still. We're hoping that for him to produce this year. If not, things might happen there in left field. Martin had a career year. Still 29 years old, as well as Fam. He's 29. He'll be coming off the bench. And then in right field, our DH, Nelson Cruz, 36 years old. So some age there. Uh, hopefully he can have another great year. He had an absolute dynamite year last year. So looking for him to have another great year. Other than that, that's really it as far as all that stuff goes. Like I said, we got younger. We got Waka coming in this year. We got Chapman. We have Strickland. He's looking to have a good year in the pen. Gil Martin looking to have another good year. Uh, really want some just solid, consistent numbers out of these bullpen guys. That was really our biggest, biggest struggle last year. That's why I brought in Chapman to help bolster that bullpen. Um, as far as that, just looking for consistent numbers. I really want Robinson Cano to turn it around here and really, really get it going. He had an awful year last year. I do not want that happening again. Um, prospects. I'll really get into that in the recap video of this month when this month is over because some guys I'm really planning to, you know, hopefully shoot their way up onto the big league club this year. 
um, particularly the outfielders, because there is some there is some age. We have 35 year old outfielder and a 36 year old outfielder, so really looking for you know maybe a younger guy to come in there if these two guys are struggling and you know really solidify himself on the big league hub. But like I said, our rotation is really young, really looking for them to have a big year here. Um, and other than that, I mean, our pen is looking good. So we're really, really looking to have a good, good year here. The Rangers are going to be tough. Astros are going to be tough. Angels are going to be tough. Tough division this year, but I think we got it for the most part. As you see, our job security is still average. We didn't hit our yearly goal of reaching the postseason last year, but I think that could be a possibility this year more than last year. Um, as far as our game stat goals, we only had one last year of turning four double plays in a game, and we did that once. Other than that, we didn't get any of those. And then our league leader goals, we did not get any of those. And those are just bonuses, I guess, all, these, all this stuff on the right here that will help you boost your job security there. Anyway, that is really it. Our sponsorships are all the same this year. Um, free agents, there's no one really out there that I really like right now. Napoli might come in. Maybe, possibly, depending on how Vogelbach and Francisco do. Other than that, why don't we get into opening day here in Season 2, Episode 2 of our Seattle Manners franchise. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, welcome to opening day here uh, at home, taking on the athletics. Um, looking to really get the season started on a good note here. We have King Felix taking the mountain for us, so our ace... Our man is on the hill, as you can see, Those all those people in the yellow shirts. Um, bottom four here, 3-1 count to Aoki. He rips a double into the right center gap. Um, he had a pretty good day. He squared a lot of balls up, uh, forced to throw here, always forced throws. But a lot of our guys um, had really good days, squared a lot of balls up. Next batter is Corey Seager with a 1-0 count, gets a low fastball, and he also drives that into right center field to bring in Aoki. And get a double for himself. Again, forcing throws to try and get overthrows there. Uh, skip ahead. King Felix is in a little jam here. One out. Runners on the corners. 1-0 count. Gets a fastball across the plate. Uh, Catel Marte makes a great play there for a double play to get King Felix out of the inning. Skip to the ninth. Um, King Felix threw a gem, but I thought I'd throw Chapman just to get him his first save of the year with his new club. 1-2 uh, count here to one of their rookies, and he pops out to the catcher to end the game. So, one nothing win for the Mariners here on opening day at home against Athletics. Really looking to get the season started and uh, gain momentum all the way through the end of the year. Alright, so as you guys saw, that was a great game there. Um, one nothing win on opening day at home in front of our fans. King Felix threw a gem, 8 innings pitch, 9 strikeouts. Uh, I think he had 3 or 4 hits given up, I can't really remember. Goes to 1-0 on the year. Um, I mean, really, our pitching staff is really going to be our backbone this year. I mean, that's why I added Chapman to, you know, help our staff at the end of the bullpen. I mean, our staff is young, really, besides King Felix. So, really looking for them to have, you know, a lot of success this year. So, we win the second game there. Uh, Walker taking on uh, Menjden. I, I really don't know how to say that name. I'm not going to try anymore. Looking to sweep, but we actually dropped the series finale. So let's go ahead and take a look at the score here. In the second game, 2-1 to one win. We had three hits to their four. They also had an error. Uh, Martin Ofer. Really the only guys with hits here were Aoki, um, Vogelbach, and Marte with two RBIs. He had a two-run home run. He also had a walk. Uh, as you see, his home run brought in both our runs for the day. Marte is also caught stealing, however. On the mound, walk a seven innings pitch, four hits, one earned run, four walks, and four strikeouts for a 128 ERA. Strickland gets the win, and an inning pitch goes to 1 0. One inning pitch, two strikeouts, perfect ERA, and Chapman gets his second save of the year. One inning pitched, one walk, and one strikeout. In the finale, we drop it 2 to 1. Uh, we managed nine hits to their eight, so we actually out hit them. Uh, Aoki one hit, um, Kano Cruz had one hit, Kano two hits with an RBI, um, Vogelbach one hit, Zunino two for three, uh, Fernandez one for two, Bam 0 for three, O'Malley 0 for two, and Marte one for four with two strikeouts. So 
Tommy Pham really off to a slow start. He hasn't gotten his first hit of the season yet, which is kind of, uh, you know, worrisome, but hopefully he'll get it turned around here in this next series. Cano with the RBI, Seager hit by pitch. Um, Aoki and Seager both had stolen bases, and Marte was caught stealing again. On the mound, Taewon Walker, six innings pitch, five hits, no runs, one walk, five strikeouts, perfect DRA. C-Shack gets a blown save, one inning pitched, Two hits, one run that was earned, one strikeout for a nine ERA. And Corey Kniebel takes the loss, goes to 0-1-1 in extra innings here, actually 11 inning game. Four innings pitched, uh, one hit, one earned run, one walk, and six strikeouts for a 225 ERA. So he did pretty well, just didn't really get the offensive, offensive support there in the end. Uh, so that will wrap up this episode. Um, I re I'm really only doing, um, you know, like a season or not a season, the opening day series here as I did last season. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to get into this road trip here against in Houston and Oakland. So really, like I said, hoping to, you know, get on a roll here to start the season off. I think we're a lot better of a team than we were last year. Not saying we were bad last year, but I think we are pretty solid this year. That'll be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Episode... Four.